Ang topic natin ngayon ay about prime factorization. So, prime factorization, it is the process of finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So, kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood yung isang vlog ko na about uh, natural numbers, panoorin nyo po yon para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano nga ba ang prime. Okay? For example, 8. Ano ba yung prime factorization ng 8? Sabi niya sa definition, uh, it is the process of finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. Ibig sabihin po, yung factor ng 8 na hahanapin natin is prime. So, ano nga ba yung factor ng 8? So, 1 times 8 and 4 times 2. Next, uh, hindi pa prime yung 4 while 2 is already a prime. So, kailangan i-factor out ulit natin yung 4. So, ano ba ang factor ng 4? It is 2 times 2. So, since prime numbers na yan, 2 times 2 times 2, kapag pinag-multiply natin yung tatlong prime na yon, ang magiging sagot ay yung original number, which is 8. So, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So, tama, so yung prime factorization ng 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 cubed. Another example is 12. So, ang factor ng 12 ay 4 times 3. So, since yung 3 is already a prime number, uh, hayaan na natin siya doon. Pero yung 4, hindi pa siya prime. So, pa, tulad ng dati kanina, i-factor out ulit natin ang 4. So, 4 is 2 times 2. So, yan. Prime na yung 2. Therefore, the prime factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3. So, let's check kung tama. 2 times 2 equals 4 times 3 equals 12. So, bumalik siya sa original number. So, another 12. So, uh, paano kung 6 times 2 yung ginamit nating factor? Kasi there are uh, 2 or more factors of 12, diba? Merong 4 times 3, pwedeng 6 times 2. So, let's try 6 times 2. So, yung 2, prime na yon. Yung 6, hindi pa. So, let's factor 6. So, 6. So, 3 times 2. So, 3 times 2 is 6. So, since 3 and 2 are already a prime, ibig sabihin, 3 times 2 times 2 yung prime factorization ng 12. Parehas lang kahit saan dyan yung gamitin natin, either 4, time, 4 and 3 or 6 and 2. Parehas lang yung factor, prime factor niya na 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? Another, 24. Sa 24 naman, we have 12 times 2. So, 2 is already a prime, while 12 is not. So, let's factor again 12. So, 12 is 6 times 2. And then, factor ulit natin ang 6. 6 is 3 times 2. So, kapag na-reach na natin yung uh, factor na prime na siya, yun na yung prime factor ng number. Okay. Meron, itry din natin yung 8 times 3. So, 3 is already a prime, 8 is not. So, kunin ulit natin, 4 times 2. And then, 4 is, hindi pa siya prime. So, magiging 2 times 2 times 3. So, the same lang. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or, 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, the same. How about, 6 times 4? So, 6 is not a prime. So, 6 is 3 times 2. So, since 3 and 2, uh, 
is a prime so let's check or let's see 4 so sa 4 is 2 times 2 so parehas lang din sa una or pangalawa nating nakuha therefore ang prime factors ng 24 ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 2 cube times 3 parehas lang po yun okay another is 21 so, 21, the factors of 21 are 1 and 21 and 7 and 3. So, 7, prime factor na yun, prime na yun, and also 3, prime na po yun. Therefore, the prime factors of 21 are 7 and 3. Next, 45. So, 45 is 9 times 5. So, 5 is already a prime, while 9 is not. So, factor natin ng 9, 3 times 3. So, since 3 is already a prime, that is now the prime factor of 45. 3, 3, and 5. So, if you will check, 3 times 3, 9 times 5, 45. Babalik ka sa original number. Kapag pinag-multiply mo yung mga prime factors. <clears throat> Next is 48. So, 48, meron tayong 6 times 8. So, both are not a prime. So, let's uh, factor 6 first. So, 6 is 3 times 2. So, since 3 and 2 are already prime, okay, let's uh, see the prime factors of 8. The prime factors of 8 is, ayan, 4 and 2. So, since hindi pa prime yung 4, kunin natin yung prime factors niya. So, 2 times 2. Therefore, the prime factors of 48 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or... 2 raised to 4 times 3. Bilangin nyo lang kung ilan yung 2. And then yun yung i-raise nyo. So, let's check. 2 times 2 is... Uh, let's check. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 3 is 48. So, tama. Bumalik tayo sa original number which is 48